Hey guys, Jeff here. Today I wanted to talk to you about my favorite resource for the sake of budget picking. And that is Habitat for Humanities Restores. If you've seen me on any of the locksmith and lock picking uh, Facebook groups, you'll see me talking about Restore and how great they are and they have just done so much to help me along my journey. Now, for the longest time I would go into my local Restore and I would look for what I called orphan locks. Locks that have the key side, but they don't have the other side of the actuator. Sometimes they might have both sides of the handle, but the really important thing was that they didn't have a key. For the longest time, they would leave those out, but nobody was buying them. So I would take the time to pick through and sort through. And at my local restore, they got to know me. They realized what I was doing. They realized I was getting the parts that they were just going to throw away uh, and scrap otherwise. So they were selling them to me for 10 to 25 cents per lock. But after I had been going for maybe a year or so, they, uh, they actually decided they were gonna start scrapping these. So they made a deal with me and I come by about every week or so and get the locks that they have. And what I like to do, because I don't have a whole lot of storage space, as you saw in my hidden, um, hidden lock lab video, is I will take these and I'll break them down to just their essential parts. I will, I love the ones that are like this where all I have to do is remove a screw And that is gonna take a lot less storage space in my lock lab. And then the rest of this, I throw it in a box that I bring back to them for scrap every once in a while. So that way they can still get most of their scrap money they were going to get. And I'm getting some free locks, which is the primary reason that I have so many locks in my lock lab, which has given me the opportunity to make those um, DIY progressive pinners, some DIY training locks, and just to feel free to actually mess with the locks. Now, this right here is a good enough reason to visit your local restore, and if possible, talk to them. Ask them if they have locks without keys, locks that they're just going to have to toss or scrap otherwise. But that's not the only reason I love my restore. They also have a lot of my other resources. I'm able to find knives. Now I pick through, I find knives that are skinny enough for what I want and I like if the handles are small enough so I don't have to do too much extra work to them. But this is where I get the knives that I like to turn into my picks. These knives, I get them for about a buck a piece usually. In addition, I also talked about my um, my beefy tension wrenches out of Allen wrenches. I pick up Allen wrenches at the restore for 10 cents a piece. That way I can just get a few of the size that I want to turn into some tensioners. I got these because I'm planning on making a second set of picks. And that way I don't have to switch my favorite tensioners back and forth. Also available at Restore is your handy paint scraper, buck 25 on this I believe, and a little bit of time with a grinder, and I was able to turn this into basically a gym tool. I haven't spent too much time using it yet. Um, I do plan on doing another video about um, about bypassing tools, but this was only $1.25, and so I didn't feel bad about cutting into it and seeing what I could do. It seems to be decent enough metal. So, guys, this is the kind of stuff I get at Restore. By the way, this is my most recent haul from Restore. Sometimes I get several locks, 
Sometimes they have a huge pile for me. Every once in a while they don't have anything that week. But that's fine. <clears throat> so that's what I have for you today. And guys, I will talk to you later.